Jake Kokowitz was born to leave. I don't mean I, I don't mean to be mean, but I, Marine Corps to me is number one. And uh, it's always raise the game first, your last. With victories comes hard work, and Jake was no stranger to doing what he had to do to remain fit for the fight. I love going to the gym. I lifted weights. I didn't like running. I only ran when I had to. Though finding the desire to run was difficult, no one would have guessed that a fatal accident would leave Jake struggling to make it to the finish line. I was at the bar with my friends and we were celebrating, finding out that we were BCSing to a company that was deploying on a combat deployment. And uh, I asked uh, someone to follow me home on my, my motorcycle and they were on their motorcycle. And uh, I didn't know that he was drunk and he had contacted my rear tire and threw me into a guardrail. And when I hit the guardrail, uh, my helmet came off and I landed back in the road and the uh, vehicle hit me and ran me off. When I first found out that uh, I was going to have to get my arm amputated or that would be an option, I just wanted to give up. I remember that. I remember crying for a long time. Wondering why me, but uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of people out there with a lot less than I've got, and there was. I felt like there was no reason to give up, especially since the Marine Corps taught me that. So I just kept pushing forward. Every day brings new challenges, but Jake doesn't face these battles alone. There's a lot of people that uh, wouldn't hang around for someone like that. You know? I feel like they take the easy way out and not have to deal with all that. Oh, I'm gonna have to tie his shoes the rest of his life. So, I'm lucky to have her. I know, I'm not sure. He wants me to do this on my own, but this part I'm not gonna be able to do this part of my own. And lucky he is. Not only does Jake have a great support system, but Jake is lucky he gets another shot at life and most importantly, being a dad. There's, there's things that I can't do now that I would be able to do with a prosthetic. Being able to teach my son and my daughter how to swing a baseball bat, uh, shoot a basketball, catch a football, do push-ups, eventually be able to do that stuff. And I'm not gonna be able to do that stuff if I don't work hard. So I gotta work hard so I can teach them that stuff because I don't want anybody else to teach them, I want their father to teach them.